how to add currency converter to your shopify checkout page hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how to achieve this uh now i'm going to show you how to do so with an app and it is going to be completely for free which is actually a great thing so let's just go ahead and get started so first uh it's not from within shopify we will need to go to the app store so just go to apps all recommended apps and then just go to the shopify app store and then from here you want to look for a specific um app which like i said is completely for free which is nova multi-currency converter so just go in and look up multi-currency converter and you should find it from the top um results here so we can see here nova multi-currency converter just go ahead and open this up and click on install and once this is actually installed we can just go ahead and start the setup properly so first uh, let's just confirm the installation here and let's just exit out of these two because we don't need them anymore now as you can see uh, once this actually loads in we can start with the setup now i did do it before so it's going to sh so show uh, a few check marks here but for you all you need to do is just follow along so the first thing is going to be editing the money format um, now to do so you will find this bubble here so just go ahead and click on this help bubble and then you will find the first one how to edit the money format you want to click on that and, the, and then you want to basically just go ahead and scroll down until you find the two code snippets that you want, which is going to be this one and this one. So HTML with currency and HTML without currency. And pretty much just copy both. Now, uh, this is going to work if your uh, default currency is a US dollar. If it's not, then you want to replace this with your currency like it actually shows you here. If you're from the UK, it's going to be looking like this instead. So just go ahead and find out uh, your currency and just replace the USD with your own currency, the default one. Now, once you copy these two, uh, you can just go ahead and actually view them by holding Windows and V. I'm not sure about Mac. Sorry about that. So just hit Windows V and you should find both of them. So let's just go ahead and continue on. So now you will need to open up your settings and go to the currency section of your settings. So to do so, you want to just click on settings from your Shopify store and then just go to the billing section and then you will find your currency at the bottom. Actually, ignore everything that I said. Instead, you just go ahead and open up settings. This is going to be a much easier way. Go to the general tab and then just you will find it right here under the store defaults. Just click on change uh, store currency formatting here so click on three dots change currency formatting and now you'll find these two right here and we will basically want to change this one and this one and we want to basically add them accordingly and also if you didn't know your default currency um, then you will find it right here so yeah so basically we want to be uh, you know uh, delete this and add the code that is with currency which is going to include the usd in it and then you would want to also change this so it is suitable for your currency same goes here you would want to just go ahead and delete this and paste in the code that does not have the currency in it which is this one right here and then just click on save and once this is saved, we can just go ahead and exit out of here. And if we just go back to apps, Nova multi-currency converter, it should be installed. Now, as you can see, editing uh, or edit money format is pretty much set. All you need to do now is just go in and uh, check this, allow that this is enabled. And then you can also add the currencies that you want. So if you want to add another one, you can feel free to do so like so. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and uh, you know, customize how we want it to look like, and pretty much we are set. And once this is done, you can just go ahead and click on save, and this is all for this video. It's going to be uh, automatic, so if someone is buying from the US, it's going to automatically convert it to US. If it's from the UK, same, get, same goes there. And also, they're going to be visible for the checkout page, and also, they will have this option to choose from the currencies that you included in here. So hopefully, you found this video to be helpful, and thanks for watching.